What's going on everybody? Uh, Kevin with Buffalo Pinball here. I've got an installation for you, video for you today. Uh, we're going to be showing you how to install the Pin Stadium Concert Editions with the Xeno mounts uh, on your Guns N' Roses pinball machine by Jersey Jack Pinball. So let's check it out. All right, the first thing you're going to do is you're going to get, so I already have my Concert Editions in the machine. I've, I've streamed it before already, but what's new now is I have these Xeno mounts which allow you to install the, the lights without using the magnets on the sides. They actually attach to the, the play field itself so you don't have to worry about taking the, um, the lights off the side of your machine before you lift the play field off. They, they'll go right up with the machine. So um, let's take a look at what's inside. I already opened this up so I know what's inside but I wanted you guys to get the full <laughs> experience. Uh, and, and shout out to our, our partners, Pin Stadium. They sponsor the channel. They sent me this kit so I can show you guys how to install it. So, um, first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna open this up and you're gonna get uh, a bunch of parts in, in, a, uh, in some bubble wrap like this. So you just take the tape off and then you'll see all the, all the mounts. So, there's one. There's two. And they're all a little different because they're custom built for Guns N' Roses. There's three, this is Penn Stadium on the side there, so you know, just in case you didn't know. And then number four. So there's your there's your Xeno mounts. So I'll just put them on a machine next to the one I'm working on. Oh, and there's a, also one more thing in here. I forgot. You're gonna get a little packet of accessories. It's got zip ties and some screws in there, so we're gonna use those later. If you've never uh, taken the glass off your coin, off of your pinball machine, you just unlock the coin door, open it up, and you'll notice it says, warning, close the door before handling the glass. And that's very important because you don't want to scratch the glass because sometimes it can hit the top of the coin door, and especially on JJP machines or if you've got invisible glass installed in your game like these come with, uh, you don't want to scratch that up. So you just reach inside on a Jersey Jack machine. There's a uh, lever that you pull to the center. Then the lockdown bar comes off. There's a spring in it that will push it back to the right. Again, close your coin door, slide your glass off, and then set it aside. If you have a uh, concrete floor, you don't want to set it down on a concrete floor because if there's like a tiny little rock or chip or something like that and it touches the edge of the glass, it's going to make it explode. You don't want that. That's <laughs> it's going to be bad news. So, all right. So that's how you get the glass off. I've already, already installed my pin stadiums uh, in here. They used to be attached with the magnet mounts, but now um, we're going to be putting the Xeno mounts in. So uh, to lift your play field up, grab it by the, uh, the little bar here, lift it up, and then you got rails underneath, pull them out, and then there's a rubber, so rubber feet. You just place it on there. And you're good to go. Okay. Step one, I'm looking at the, uh, the install instructions on the, the Pin Stadium website. It says, uh, step one, remove the factory bubble level located on the bottom right side of the play field. So that's, that's right here. Okay. Uh, it says remove the factory bubble leveler right here, located on the bottom right side of the play field. This is done by removing the two screws, holding it in place, and then replace it with the number one Xeno mount. With a very small, with a very small flathead screwdriver, pop out the factory bubbler and then uh, pressure fit it into the Xeno mount. Important: make note of the bubble orientation and marks before you remove it from the factory, so that you know which way to insert it into the, the number one Xeno mount. So I'm going to go ahead and take a picture here, and so we know which way this goes when it goes back in, because one side of the so that there's lines on this. Bubble, bubble level and so they're kind of closer to the top side and the, the bottom side here is longer so that's how you're going to know how to put it back in so we're going to this is a nut driver with a 5 16 uh, head on it so we're going to take that Yeah, that just helps you kind of get some get some leverage under there. Okay, so we got it off. Yay! So this is your this is your number one. You can see that. Yeah, that's your number one. 
it pops in there. Like that. Okay, there you go. So you're moving your bubble level into the, the pin stadium. And then we pop it in here. And attach this back into the play field. Preferably without dropping your stuff all over the nice play field here. Okay, that's that side. All right, so what's next? Xeno number two. So this is number two. Now on the opposite side of the play field, remove the factory screw holding the metal rail on the apron. Okay. Uh, so it's actually this one that we're gonna be taking off here. Uh, looks like I need a different size measure here. Maybe a quarter inch, let's see. Handy quarter inch nut driver. Just be careful because there's a washer on here and you don't want that to go into the great pinball abyss when you uh, remove that. So set that aside carefully. Uh, and, and set the number two Xeno as shown in the example below. Replace the screw through the hole of the Xeno mount and make sure the factory apron wire form is back into place. It's important to hold it, the wire form, in place and do not force anything or you will break the Xeno mount. Tighten it firm, but not too firm as we will break slash warp mount the mount for sure. Just make sure it's nice and snug, easy does it. Okay, so uh, attach it, but be gentle when you do it. So looks like what happens here is, okay, so there's, where's the screw hole? Right there, okay. Oh, okay, so it looks like we go like that. Can you see that? I gotta turn this so I can see what you're seeing. Okay, yeah, you can see that. So it kind of slides behind this bar and onto this. And then you just put the screw back through it. So I was trying I was trying to put it on like this and it doesn't it doesn't fit like that. You gotta slide it behind. Like, like the instructions say, not too tight, other, otherwise you'll break it. You don't want to break it. Okay, he said, hold this. That feels pretty good. So we'll just go ahead and leave that like that. Looks good, looks good. Uh, number three, Xeno. Locate this Xeno mount and place it on the left edge of the backboard. So we're going, we're going to the back now. Minus the light bar, of course. Make sure it is flush with the very top of the backboard and stuff. So this is where we're gonna go to our we're gonna go to our um, accessory pack and take out the two screws. They're really small, so just be careful um, that you don't lose them. What's up? Here's the other side of my room. <laughs> um, take the two little screws out of here. I'm just gonna kind of duck them into my hand. All right, they're there. Real small. Real small. So if you look at the end here, um, there's two little screws, screw holes there. This kind of goes around the backboard, and then you just screw through, um, through these holes into your backboard. So. Okay, back on the other side of the play field, we're gonna take this. It wraps around like this. It's a snug fit, but it goes on there nicely. And I just want to make sure I'm putting it in the right spot before I screw it in. Uh, so I'll read you the instructions. It says, install the two screws on the back of the mount like the example below. These come in your accessory packet and be careful not to lose them since they are small. 
No, if, if for some reason you cannot locate them, no worries. Any small slash short shelf self-tapping screw one quarter inch or so will work. Just don't use one longer than the thickness of the backboard would. So you don't you don't want one to be poking through the front of the, the backboard. Um, even if you only have one, that will work if needed. Okay. So we'll take this. Get on my phone so I can see what's going on here with the light. Find my hole. And so you just gotta apply some pressure. It's a self-tapping screw, so it'll, it'll catch and start going through. Just keep applying pressure and turning. And you'll get it where it needs to be. All right, let me grab that other screw. I set it aside so I can drop it. And here's goes number two. Same idea. Where's my phone? So I can see the hole. There it is. A little pressure. Start turning. There it goes. Once it catches, set my phone down here so I can apply some steady pressure and get it the rest of the way in. Then we'll be on to our fourth mount in the, the back right. Just gonna double check, make sure that top is nice and tight and the bottom. And we are good, there's your Zenos on the left. All right, so actually <laughs> I did this backwards. We weren't supposed to screw this down yet, but I think we're gonna be all right. Um, so we need to take the um, zip tie and you feed it up from the bottom. I had that wrong originally too. You feed this up from the bottom and this is what, probably why, you know, you're supposed to do the other thing first. Do this first and then then the other thing. Because it'd be a lot easier to do this without it being attached to the uh, to the machine. If you, if you zip tie it the other way, the um, little nub will be on the top and then you won't be able to put your glass on. So you don't want to do that. Let me take a look here. Got it. First try. So, yep, that's gonna be facing like that. So I think we are good now. Always double check, check your work. You know what I mean? The other thing um, that you're, will, you will have to do that I have already done is there's a little uh, clamp on the back here that you route your cables through. I already put that on because I had previously installed my pin stadiums, but there's a little uh, like hook and loop kind of thing that just sticks on the back. That, that keeps your, your cap ribbon cables from snagging uh, when you're raising or lowering the play field. So um, there's that. And so you want to slide this back. So one of the zip ties is going to go over the cables and the other is going to go over the mount itself. So we'll take the first one and feed it around so it goes over the cables. One's gonna go over the the pin stadium itself. And we're gonna make sure it's nice and snug. And then take a pair of angle cutters, like so, and just trim off the extra. Cool, cool, cool. Yeah, 
guess. And then you just um, bring the ribbon cables back, um, feed it through the, the little clamp, and then you're good to go on the side. Okay, so what I'm gonna do, this is what gotta go in this bracket. So I'm gonna I'm gonna actually take this screw back out because I don't wanna I don't wanna bend stuff too much and break potentially break anything. So here's what I'm gonna do. Take this out. Set the screw aside. Take this off. I'm gonna attach it here. Like that. So it's clamped on there. And we're gonna take this and slide it back in. That's how we're gonna do it. So if you're a doof like me, and you do it wrong, you can fix it. Again, we're holding this and only tightening it enough to hold it snugly. You don't want to over tighten it because you can crack the, the mount and then you'll be, you'll be sad. You'll be having a sad time. All right, we got one done. We're done on the left. Moving over to the right. Uh, so, see it. so it's going to attach on the screw like that. Yeah, there's like, it's like only one way this is going to go, right? Like that. Yep. All right, so let's get my, I got my quarter inch nut driver. It looks like that's going to do the trick here. This one's nice because it's magnetic, so it holds onto the, <laughs> the screw for you without it falling out. So let me set that aside. Grab my, my mount here. Line it up with the hole. That's nice because it just it rides right on this uh, this plastic piece here, so it feels nice and sturdy, which is good. It's a good good design there. Uh, now we got to make sure we get the zip ties right again. Here we go. This is this is the uh, the tricky part for me. And then we're also going to remember to install the front of the Xeno mounts before we do the back because that's that's what got me last time. So if it's like the other side, we're gonna to wanna to go underneath. Again, I should've done this again. Uh, should've done this beforehand. I just get so excited to get these going. All right, this one's gonna come around like that. So we're good there. That's okay. I have, like I said, I have extra zip ties. Let me grab another one over here and I'll, I'll swap that. And then, so we're gonna go over here and attach the front first. Turn that so you can see. I'm gonna take this and slide it in. It's like, it's kind of grippy. So you just, you gotta work it in a little bit. So it's nice and good. And then take this side and there's my dog. Um, slide it in so this um, this bottom cable kind of slides into this notch. And the top hooks over the top. If that makes sense. <laughs> so I'll take this and I'll beat it around and down. And then this one goes around like so. Okay, and then we've got, I've already got my um, angle bracket back there. 
Okay, so there we go. You can see they're mounted and good to go. So we can slide it back into the cabinet. Oh, one thing I forgot to do. Now that I'm taking away it, I forgot to trim off the extra here. If you don't have an angle clipper, you can just use a, uh, you can use a pair of scissors or whatever, but these are nice. Okay, there it is. Make sure that's all snug and good. And then, uh, all right, you ready? Let's see how it looks. So what's cool about this is that if you haven't seen these, um, if you've seen the JJP uh, Guns N' Roses machine, it's got the hot rails on the sides. And what's cool is there's a, so there's like three strips in here in the each of the pin stadiums. So one replicates the side rails, but it does it from the top down. The second replicates whatever the GI is doing. So it takes the GI, so if the GI is all white, it'll just be all white, or if it's changing colors, it'll change colors with it. Uh, and then there's a third one, which is the UV glow, which ties off of the flasher. So um, it integrates uh, directly with a lot of the, the playfield lighting on the machine, which really, it kind of takes the um, the lighting that comes with the game and just enhances it and makes it fill up the whole playfield, which looks really cool when you're playing it. I especially like it during, during the songs. It makes the songs really, really cool and moody and, and feel neat. So. All right, guys, that's going to do it for this time. Uh, thank you to Scott at Penn Stadium for sending me the Xeno mounts of the Penn Stadium Concert Edition so I can show them off for you guys. Uh, check them out, PennStadium.com. Use coupon code BUFFALO to save 10%. They are the premier sponsor of Buffalo Pinball. So uh, thank you, guys. Have a good day, and we will see you next time. Bye.